Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a new vlog. Um, so we're starting in different surroundings today in a very festive dress because I have a really fun and exciting day today. I'm shooting with World Duty Free. Uh, we're going to be creating some more video content, which is going to be in the stores. So, or not stores, you know, the airport retail duty-free stores. And uh, we're going to be creating a festive makeup look today. So I've just been to duck and dry had my hair curled because I'm so rubbish at doing it myself. Um, still a little bit flat on the top so I might put in some dry shampoo or something but it makes so much difference. I'll show you a little before on the screen now and after and I'm just gonna maybe recurl a little bit at the front just to add a bit more volume. But we're shooting in the Ned. We booked one of the suites which is quite red and festive. Kat's putting up some Christmas lights behind the bed so it's gonna look really nice and festive. Um, nothing on my face because obviously we're going to be doing a makeup look. I wanted to show you something which I've got into the habit of doing lately which I find really helpful on days when I'm going to be having a slightly more intense day whether it's like a day of meetings or um, a shoot day like today. I find that I can get a little bit stressed um, and overwhelmed let's say. So these are a lifesaver. Sorry if the camera's wobbling, I've created a DIY <laughs> tripod. These are the Ease Drops. They're from a company called Grass & Co. These are their Ease CBD Drops with turmeric, ginger and orange. Really high quality ingredients. I'll tell you all about them later, but when I know I'm gonna have a slightly unusual day or something that I might be feeling a little bit nervous or a little bit stressed about, I just put a couple of these drops under my tongue and it just helps to make me feel a little bit better. And unlike so many CBD drops that I've tried in the past, these actually taste amazing. I think it's the, I think it's the orange in there. They just taste a little bit festive. You don't get that nasty aftertaste that you can get with other CBD products. So yeah, I'll let you know a little bit more about these guys afterwards because I've been trying them for a couple of weeks now and I love. So without further ado, I think it's time to start shooting. So we've just finished filming. This is the festive look that we created and these videos are going to be very excitingly in the World Duty Free stores. I will hopefully be booking a last minute trip at some point soon so I can go and see them in real life. But this is my festive party look, which sadly I now have to take off because we're doing a couple of other snaps and they require a slightly more natural look. Good evening, my darlings. So I'm very sorry that um, there's been such a huge jump between showing you a couple of makeup clips at the Ned where we filmed the video for World Duty Free and now. Uh, as you might be able to guess, probably from my under eye bags and general appearance, today has been quite a manic one. I keep getting the reeds from the reed diffuser in the shot. Today's been quite a manic one. Um, I would be lying if I said I wasn't absolutely exhausted. I always find that shoot days are just another level of exhaustion. It sounds like a first world problem and it is. Uh, but when you are shooting, you are either in hair and makeup or you are being shot or you're getting changed. Whereas everyone else kind of gets a break. So when you're in hair and makeup, the photographer gets a break. When you're shooting the hair and makeup, people get a break, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, it's been quite an intense day to say the least. And then when I got home just after lunchtime, I had a deadline, so I had to do a little bit of filming and a ton of emails. It is now 7.55 p.m. and um, I really need to just collapse into bed, but I'm gonna have a nice bath. I thought I would share with you my chill out evening routine, something that I like to do, or some things that I like to do to just re rewind or unwind, unwind after um, a busy day. Obviously I took my CBD drops this morning and I know that I would have probably found today a little bit more um, stressful if I hadn't taken my drops. They just help to chill me out. I've been using them as I said for a couple of weeks now and whenever I mention CBD at all on my Instagram stories I get quite a few questions um, and you guys would like to know more about the products that I'm using. Do you know what? Even when I'm like leaning on my face, the muscles in my face hurt from all the facial expressions I've been pulling today. <sighs> so yeah, it is 
about time I did a bit of relaxing. But yeah, let me show you some of the other products in my CBD tried and tested collection. Okay, I've just popped my bedroom light on so we're not standing and talking in the dark. The CBD products that I have been using and very much enjoying, including the drops that I took earlier from a company called Grass & Co. You can order these products online. Reasons why I love them are that firstly, it's really high quality. So the ingredients have been very sustainably sourced um, and they are just the highest quality of all the different ingredients. If I'm ingesting or putting ingredients on or in my body, I want to know that they're really high quality premium ingredients. These are all organic ingredients as well. So I'm very confident putting them on or in my body. Um, and they also have a really good range of products. So as well as the little tincture drops, they also have the Calm CBD body oil. They've got a few different ranges. Calm is probably my favorite. They've also got Ease, and I'm about to use the Ease bath salts in a second. They mix the CBD with really lovely ingredients. So for example, this body oil has evening primrose, rosemary and marula in there. It smells incredible and I like to pop this on any areas of my body, firstly that need a little bit of hydrating because it's super, super hydrating um, but also it's really good for any aching muscles. I'm going to be putting this on my bottom and on my thighs later on this evening. I might even massage some into my temples. They've also got from the same collection the aromatherapy candle. Really nice to light before bed, perhaps if you have trouble sleeping or I'm going to pop this on while I have a bath. Something that Charlie loves as much as me is the Calm Pillow Spray. It's got lemon, rosemary and chamomile in there. Really good at just creating a beautiful, tranquil environment before bed. And then the drops that I was using earlier were the Ease Drops and these are the same but from the Calm range. So I can just kind of pick and choose. Um, I keep one in my handbag and one at home in our cupboard with all of my smoothie ingredients. I heard quite a lot about CBD from things like podcasts and YouTube videos, mostly from people in the US, and it's become a really big thing in the UK. I'll leave a link down below to the Grass & Co website where you can find out more about it, but a few things that I frequently get asked. Firstly, am I going to get high from taking CBD? Absolutely not. It is completely different from marijuana, which is what makes you high. In fact, my Grass & Co order came with this booklet and it's got all the information. Um, CBD oil is derived from legally grown hemp in the EU, no trace of THC, which is the ingredient that makes you high, um, but you will get many of the other benefits. Completely legal um, here in the EU. Cannabidiol, which is what CBD actually is, has been found to help people lift their mood, reduce inf inflammation, relieve chronic pain, and then people have said that it's helped them with things like reducing anxiety, helping with sleep, and many other benefits like that. But this is really interesting. It tells you all about the different products that they've got, like the tinctures, the drops, um, the body oils, how their CBD is of premium quality, different types of application. So that's really interesting, and you get that with your Grass & Co order. So yeah, that's the range of products that I've been trying over the last couple of weeks. Thank you to Grass & Co very kindly for sending them to me for try. I definitely give it... 10 out of 10, my firm seal of approval. I am now going to run a bath. I'll show you the bath salts that I use, and then I'm gonna use the candle while I'm in the bath. I'm gonna put the pillow mist by the side of the bed for later. I'm going to take the body oil in with me, and my drops can go back in my handbag. Gosh, I am CBD'd out. That is my full CBD relaxation range. I'm probably gonna pop on a face mask as well. Let's have a look. I have this cupboard down here which has got all of my overflowing PR samples in there. Uh, this is from a brand called Boschia and it is a charcoal pour pudding intensive wash off treatment. So let's have a little look. Oh my goodness, it's like black and white clay. So I'm going to cleanse my skin while the bath is running, then I'm going to pop my face mask on and have a fairly early night. Charlie and I have just started watching Criminal on Netflix, so I think we're going to continue watching that. But yeah, first of all, it's time to chill. So these are the Ease bath salts I was telling you about earlier. They are Himalayan salt. They smell absolutely amazing because they're mixed with ingredients like eucalyptus. Um, and they just, oh my God, that smell is incredible. So naturally they're very cleansing, very purifying and very relaxing. So I'm gonna take a really big handful and pop these in the bath.
Okay, so I'm looking like a bit of a scary person, um, but after my lovely black clay mask in the bath, I felt like I needed to put some goodness and nourishment back into my skin. Can you guys take me seriously? I can't even laugh at myself because if I laugh, then my mask is going to crinkle. Um, this is one of the most bougie face masks you can possibly do, but I thought I deserved it today and I had one of these in my box of lovely um, PO Box goodies. So this is very kindly sent by Estee Lauder. It is the Advanced Night Repair Concentrated Recovery Power Foil Mask. Apparently, you can actually peel the foil bit off, but all the celebs, um, ooh, is that working? No, I'm just gonna leave it. Um, people like Victoria Beckham, when they featured it on their Instagram, they left the foil on, and now it just became the foil mask. I have got the Grass & Co, ooh, Calm, um, candle lit enjoying the aroma it is so lovely and this is a little bit tragic but while charlie's in the bath and i'm enjoying my face mask i'm just watching the video that i put live tonight which might seem a little bit dorky watching my own video but when i'm editing my videos i don't really get to watch it because i obviously edit it edit it in chunks and it takes me over an hour obviously to edit like a half hour video and so I never get to see the full effect because by the time I finished editing, I'm bored of that video. So I only really watch them through fully when they're live, like when you guys are watching them. So I'm just watching through the video that's gone live tonight. And while I'm watching it, I'm just replying to as many comments as I can. And that is my way of relaxing. And then Charlie and I, if I've got a lisp, it's because I've got my brace in, by the way. Um, I'm just wearing it, it at nights now. And then we're going to watch Criminal... Uh, we're only on episode one. I fell asleep after 10 minutes last night, so I've got a bit of catching up to do. But yeah, that's me looking really fabulous. <laughs> got a day of meetings and nice things in the morning, so I will see you then. Good night. It really is kind of the first thing you see when you walk into the Good morning, darlings. It is the next day now, um, and it is the darkest day that has ever been in history. It is so dull outside. It's um, about quarter to eight in the morning. I'm about to get the bus into central London. I cannot get the tube again at nine o'clock in the morning like I did yesterday, or eight o'clock rather, um, because where I live is like Commutersville and every person on the planet decides to get on the tube at Clapham Common at eight o'clock in the morning and it's just not possible. I almost got my camera out yesterday. So I've got a hair. Um, I almost got my camera out yesterday to film the state of the platform because the whole platform was filled with people. It was horrible. So I don't want to put myself through that again today. So I'm going to be getting the bus to Selfridges. I'm going for a meeting there first thing. And I've got a nice day. I've got, um, I'm hopefully getting my nails done. I'm going to Townhouse because there's a press day there with Cashwell fragrances. And then um, I'm gonna nip into the Strathbury press day as well. And I've got a facial at Harrods with Decolleté. And that's the brand that I went to New York with and their skincare is just an absolute dream come true. So very much looking forward to that. I thought before I head out, um, I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day. Okay, so excuse the horrible lighting, um, but my outfit of the day is this this world's snuggliest, comfiest, most divine jumper dress. Um, it's from Reese. Surprise, surprise. I love that you can tie a little bow. If you're not as girly as I am, then you could do a little knot on the side. I love that it's got um, elasticated sleeves, so just super, super comfy cozy. This ring is from Pandora, by the way. And then it goes down to below the knees, and I've popped on my River Island boots. The material, it kind of looks like that recycled packaging that you get inside envelopes um, in a weird way, but I really like it. It's just very versatile and easy to wear. Obviously, it's super cozy and comfy where it is a jumper dress and very stretchy, so you can definitely eat as much as you want in this and just be super, super comfortable. Then it's also quite form fitting like I feel like sometimes you can really almost see the exact outline of my bottom so <laughs> yeah it's a really funny one but I quite like that it's quite nice because I'm all neutral I'm adding a little bit of fabulous color to the outfit with the Strathbury bag which they very kindly gifted me a couple of weeks ago seems fitting as I'm off to the Strathbury press day absolutely love this bag it's the perfect size and it really opens up so you can see everything that's inside and I just adore this color combination and it kind of picks out the colourful flecks in this dress. The dress has got like orangey, pinky, purpley flecks in with the grey. So I think the bag is a gorgeous way of picking that colour up. 
My hair's a little bit bonkers. I had it curled yesterday, as you know, at Duck and Dry. Um, there are some sections which have almost gone straight again, but I'm just going to take a big hairbrush with me and hope that I can bring it back to this level of volume before my meetings. Um, but if it goes flat and horrible, because it is miserable and rainy outside, then I am going to take a hair bulb with me and it's going to be bun on top of the head kind of day. Oh, I have a big choice what coat to wear this morning. First world problems. It's going to be miserable outside, so I think I'm going to wear... I think I might wear another Reese one. Is that too much grey? Hmm. Let's try some coats on. This is option one. I'm obsessed with this coat. It's probably my favourite at the moment. It's got the faux fur on the neckline, black buttons, um, little hidden pockets, and I just love the colour of this one. A really beautiful neutral. So this is option one, or option two, which I promise you is a different coat, not just the same one with the buttons taken off. It's a little bit more structured. Um, it's still double-breasted, and to be honest, I would never really do up the double-breastedness unless it was super blustery outside. I thought I was going to go back to the first one, but actually I've not worn this one out yet, so I think I'm going to give it its first... Um, outing and I really like how it looks with the Strathbury bag so this is my outfit of the day before I go also to highlight new pair of earrings these are from a brand called Ruffier and I just adore them they are like a swirl with a pearl and they're really beautiful and they also arrived in my PO box yesterday so thank you very much to Ruffier they are just a dream come true and I love them <laughs> Just finished my breakfast meeting at the Brasserie of Light, but I just had to show you inside these bathrooms. They are potentially my favourite bathrooms in London, although I have many favourite pink bathrooms. But these are so cool. Another little shot of the outfit. I'm just trying to export a video really quickly, always using store Wi-Fi whenever I can. Um, and these are the bathrooms. They are stunning. It's like pink marble, pink sinks, epic like 70s Gatsby style mirrors. Even the toilets are adorable in pink. So now I'm on my way to the Strathbury press day and I'm going to townhouse to get my nails done, hoping that the rain is going to stop for a little while. So let's go. done and they're looking amazing it's such an intricate little lipstick they are so talented those ladies i'm in the h&m showroom now so the h&m pr team very kindly invite influencers in to have a little look at the new collections and pick out one or two pieces which is very very kind and something that i know you guys love sadly i'm not allowed to pick it because it's so exclusive but the new collection from the jean baptiste de Bali. look at this dress it is an absolute dream. It's so much more voluminous than I thought, but gosh, I would love to own this. Maybe one day. I wish I had time to try it on. Maybe I'll just do a super, super quick try on. There's also this beautifully detailed bodice with this applique, the flowers, absolutely stunning. Got a one shoulder dress, some more gorgeous detail, and then some darker pieces too. This one has the most insane silhouette, short at the front long at the back so gorgeous a little bit of h&m home in the corner some knitwear in the jean baptiste valley collection as well with the pearl detail so beautiful this is their range in collaboration with pringle of scotland absolutely love this in fact i think i might just give this a quick try and i was so impressed with the quality of my h&m leather leggings i think this is just absolutely heavenly they've even got a little skirt and some shorts in this beautiful buttery soft leather. Love the culottes as well. I had to do it guys, had to try on the Jean Baptiste Valley pink dress. It's absolutely adorable. Obviously I've got my bra strap showing, I might just tuck these in. But how gorgeous is this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, 
case we had a successful trip to the H&M showroom. I've got a few goodies in my bag. I will show you what I got later. Just come to Knightsbridge. Um, I picked up a coffee from Elan. Normally, of course, I would be using my reusable cup, but I forgot to bring it with me today, and I'm in desperate need of some caffeine, so please don't hate me. We all have to break the rules every now and then. Um, but yeah, I'm heading into Harrods now, fifth floor, to the beauty area, because I have my decollete facial. I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking forward to lying down for an hour and being pampered, so let's go inside. This is gorgeous. Love the neckline. My god. So we have this lovely space for the facial. I'm looking forward to getting into bed. The lady said they're going to be using the AQ Meliority range, which I am already familiar with and a big fan of. We're going to be using a massage oil, the double cleanse of course, and we're going to be using the serums, and of course my favourites, the emulsions, the eye cream and the most luxurious moisturiser I think I've ever tried. The room looks absolutely gorgeous and apparently this is only temporary. They're getting a proper room downstairs in November. So it's time for me to relax and I'll check in with you after. Okay, I always feel like I look like a bit of a naked mole rat when I don't have any makeup on whatsoever. Um, but I just wanted to show you the glow in my skin right now considering how stressed I was yesterday and how dull I felt my skin had become so much better now. That was so relaxing. The products are a dream. Um, but also she did the loveliest neck and shoulder massage. I will tell you more when I get home. Good morning, darlings. Uh, so it's the next day and my skin is glowing thanks to the decollete facial. It was as wonderful, if not actually better, than the New York one. Um, the lady was just so skilled at massage techniques and she was telling me a little bit about the products but not too much so I could still relax and she did the most heavenly neck and shoulder and like top of my back massage. Did they have one of those face gorgeous. tester things? Those face? Uh, no they didn't actually, there was one in the room but she didn't use it, it was more about like the cleansing and just applying the products in the most beautiful way. Then when we got home I had a super duper quick turnaround, annoyingly I didn't get time to go to the Strathby Presto which is a real shame but uh, Charlie and I had to drive to um, Surrey last night so we went, or Charlie went to rugby training and I did some work in the car and got myself some butter sausage and chips <laughs> and now today um, which is Thursday morning, probably the day that you're seeing this vlog, I'm going to do a quick turnaround. Um, Charlie and I have got something very different on today. We're heading to Ascot Racecourse. It's not a race day, but we are actually meeting the PR and marketing teams and we're going to be doing a bit of an influencer workshop. So something that Charlie and I have found is that whenever we go for meetings with brands, we're always like talking about the influencer industry and our predictions and best practices and things like that. And we found that we know quite a lot about the influence industry having been in it for a very long time. And uh, Charlie is, am I allowed to say what you're potentially doing? No, no really. it's gonna be a surprise. But <laughs> we are working on something. And basically today we are going to Ascot Racecourse and uh, Charlie's younger sister was previously working for them in their marketing team. And so we are going to be just speaking to, I think 10 or 12 of the members of staff there in the relevant areas about working with influencers so we've done a little presentation and um, I think hopefully they're going to find it really interesting and it's going to be interesting for us to see how much they know and what sides of the industry they're interested in learning more about and we've made some recommendations on what a company like Ascot can do to work more with influencers so that's the plan for today. I not sure if I'll be able to vlog in there, it's a little bit private because we're going into the offices, but I'll do what I can to show you what we're getting up to. And then it's back to London. Scarlett's with the dogs today, I think she's going to take them for a nice <sighs> walk in Winter Great Park. Why the chuckle, darling? Oh, she's got a lot of her hands full, hasn't she? Well. She doesn't know what she's in for with Dexter and Dickens. They're particular, I think, it, I don't know if it's a change in season, but they're particularly needy at the moment. They are. Um, I've been up since four o'clock in the morning yeah, because 
Dexter was scratching and scratching and scratching and scratching and crying and more scratching on the lounge door because obviously they don't sleep in our bed, they sleep in the lounge. And my plexi was up at four o'clock in the morning scratching. He's no got one a could serious get him to sleep. dog anxiety, hasn't he? He does. Separation anxiety. I think Grass and Co. You need to make your CBD drops for dogs because <laughs> Dexter most definitely needs them. He is he not needs a, a nighttime chill boy. routine. We need to, we need to film a. We need to come up with a nighttime routine for the dogs, like a pillow <laughs> spray, yes. like a meditation to calm them down. They were very naughty. So I did two hours of video editing this morning until six when Charlie woke up. Um, actually, Charlie woke up at seven, but anyway, I did. I woke up at five. <laughs> I woke up at four. That's you. I thought that was a raccoon. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been a long morning already and it's only half nine, but we're nearly at Ascot now. We're seven minutes away. Okay, darlings, we are home again. It is time for a debrief. So that was really, really good fun. It's always so interesting to understand. Hello, baby. Two seconds. Come on then. Come on. It's always so interesting. Oh, you're a little bit smelly. Um, to understand how much different companies know about working with influencers, and there was really all knowledge levels in the room today. So some people we needed to explain what an Instagram story was and some people were in the marketing team and already doing stuff with influencers so it was really interesting. We had a really great brainstorming session so it'd be great to see what they take away from it and maybe it's something that Charlie in particular might do more of because we've realised that we know a lot about influencer marketing and we really enjoy talking about it and I actually saw someone tweeting the other day about how um, they get really annoyed when people ask them to go for coffee and pick their brain on influencer marketing because at the end of the day this knowledge that we have about the industry is technically we're consulting when we are giving brands this information so it might be something that Charlie does a little bit more of in the future I don't know if I have time to add anything more to my plate um, but it's definitely something I'm gonna help him out with so yeah that was really good fun so we are back home again now and I'm pretty much gonna put my relaxing evening routine into repeat with the addition of this little boy helping me out. I'm about to go and run a nice bath. The next few videos that you see on this channel are going to be the Fashion Mumbler Autumn Edit, <laughs> finally. So I really hope you guys are looking forward to that and um, I'm so excited to share it with you. I have been a busy bee working behind the scenes, preparing it all for you, so I really hope you are looking forward to it. And also since I last spoke to you here on the vlog, I've done a couple more Instagram stories including my CBD products and there has been so much interest um, and so many questions. So I'm gonna do a proper Q&A. So keep an eye on my Instagram stories if you've got any questions about CBD or about the Grass & Co products that I've been using and they've also very kindly given us a discount code so you can use Josie20 for 20% off. I'll leave that link in the description box so you can check that out if you would like to. I definitely recommend giving them a go if you get a little bit um, anxious before a busy day, if you've got a busy day of meetings or anything like that, then these are definitely worth a go. As I said, they taste really, really nice and I find that they work so well for me. I've shown you how I use them, but obviously everyone can use them in different ways. You could use the ease drops to chill out at the end of a stressful day if you'd like to. There are just so many ways of using them and I think in this stressful day and age when we're all busy bees, it's a really great thing to do just to take the edge off. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed my CBD ramblings. So I think it is time to say good night from Dickie and me or Dickie and I I should say it's been a long vlog with lots of different bits and bobs going on but I hope you've enjoyed it a few snippets of my week because this is the last vlog you'll be seeing for a little while until the end of the autumn edit so that's all from me darlings thank you so much for watching as always I will see you in the next one bye Oh, it's not bad for anyone